Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whenever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, you know what happened in this country, it might be treated as a small thing. When youth go to the street, protested, then the president was forced to fire his cabinet, the entire cabinet. It might look small, but this is huge. It is big. The other nations are watching careful. I'm sure some people who are, you know, uh, acting in a dictatorship way, when they are in a position of leadership, are now shivering. They're not comfortable with this because now it is happening here in Africa because Kenya is in Africa. But it seems to really come out clear that we have a democracy in this country that is really growing, but above all, one of the best constitutions ever that protects its own people. So youth in this country, Gen this, when you took it to the street to protest, the other youth across African countries or continent, they have been watching. And now they are emulating what happened in Kenya. In fact, they feel that Kenya should be the capital city of Africa. Kenya has been crowned the capital of Africa. That is the only country in Africa that has the balls to force their president to sack every member of his cabinet. For every indication, Kenyans are not yet satisfied. In fact, they actually say when the president finishes sacking everybody, he should sack himself. <laughs> ah, other Africans, can we learn? <laughs> Some of us here, if they just say we should go to the streets now, <laughs> we'll collapse. <laughs> Respect Kenyans, the rest of us in Africa, we are just making mouth, blah, 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 only mouth. We can't do anything. Small, this thing we can't do it. <laughs> Kenya, <laughs> we respect you. We are coming behind you. <laughs> now, as we continue with the panel discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, these are comedians and of course youth <laughs> who are discussing actually what is happening in this country. You know, in one way, this guy is encouraging the youth in this country to continue with the good job they are doing. That you can speak your voice and it can be hard indeed. But in the other hand, he is mocking William Ruto. <laughs> yani, when we come a president, do you think I'm highly kwamba? People make noise. You do not listen. You moved on. You have intelligence. You never discovered you can go to an excellent way by now. You can be forced to fire your cabinet. You never imagine that it can go to an excellent way. They can even force you out of power. Because what made William Ruto to fire his exact is a um, cabinet, it was because of fear that these people were able to walk to the parliament. Their next target is State House. He killed some of our youth, but it's like youth are getting the more he kills them, the more they get angry. And uh, the worst thing for him it was that no wonder when I say my come to City Africa. The protest was devolved. Just like we have developed the government, the protest was devolved. It was happening across the country uniformly. What are the governors? What are the governors? What are the governors? What so, Kenyan youth have become a defining movement for Africa. That those who just thought that it is very hard for people to come out and their voice be heard by those in authority. Kenya is changing that conversation. And the youth across Africa are now emulating this while we are there to pile in Uganda, we are going to Oh, so you can also speak to the those in authority, and your voice can be heard. 
wale wako Tanzania, wale wako eh, Gabon, Nigeria, Ghana, eh, DRC. You can name one of these countries. South Africa is also watching. That you can speak your voice and you can be heard. So it might look small here. But the other nations are surprised that indeed the youth can also speak their voice. And they have a stake in the government. They can demand accountability. Because it was not the wish or the willingness of William Ruto to fire his friend from the cabinet. They have been for their, in their comfort zone for too long. But people, power, force them out of their comfort zone. Okay, that is what we are saying. You had said earlier on yes. that you don't want to see members of parliament impeaching a president. Yes. That should be left to the people. The people, yes. Do it themselves. Yes. But are you alive to the provisions of Article 1? Yes, I am alive, I am alive to it. That through that uh, allows the public, the people, yes, power, yes, to elect their representatives. The wording which is used in that given article, Landed Council, if I may, if you look at the sovereignty of the people, it says that all powers, all sovereign powers, belongs to the people of Kenya and shall be, and I like the wording shall, <laughs> mandatory be exercised only in accordance with this constitution. The people may, optional, optional, may, optional. That is it, John. No, 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 complete it, complete it, may. May uh -huh. exercise their sovereignty power either directly or through their democratically elected. So the wording, the conjunction, may. I apply one. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> and I think that is a plain language. Sasa kama discussed hivi. When he traveled to these other countries, watu wakimwona kwa anasema huyu ndio yule, watu waliandamana ikabidi he has been humbled. Ilibidi ameteremka chini and he fired his cabinet. That is a discussion. So he has become a laughing stock simply because it seems like you don't have intelligence to read the mood and make a decision that is well informed, a decisive one, and that cannot endanger his administration. So this is what's small. Soon you will see it elsewhere and people are already doing because they saw it happening elsewhere. <laughs> you will hear them trying to compare another ruling that happened elsewhere, even in another country. Ata Maraka Zile Sikwa Lukwana Ambusha Uchaguzi Womeshwe William Ruto, not Ruto, he Ruto na Uhuru. He was also comparing North with another ruling that happened elsewhere because Kenya was not the first country to nullify a presidential election. No. But they did. So, you see, because you can also use what happened elsewhere to try and eh, get a solution somewhere else. Then, in the same way, also people are trying to see, okay, so in Kenya they tried this thing and it worked. Do you have a minister somewhere who is so corrupt you want him to go? Let him have nowhere to breathe and smoke him or her from a hiding place. And eh, indeed your voice can be heard. So that is it. This protest is not only here in Kenya. It tells you that the world is watching. Kenya, they are taking action. It's not just about mouthing. They walk the talk. So it is true. The youth in this country have forced those in authority to understand that it is no longer business as usual. Then now, now, Mr. William Ruto, I say, my kwamba. So, so, if the cabinet and the doctor go, it will be a cabinet and bio. 
ni hawachapa kazi. He will be forced to do so. For him to survive, he has to have the best cabinet ever and let him have a listening ear. Otherwise, for him to finish his term, it won't be easy. And going forward, there will be a lot of consideration before he pass such kind of a, 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 a finance bill in this country. Imagine what if Mwishmua William Ruto could have done away with the finance bill and let us something that is friendly. Watu wa wange sema cabinet yende nyumbani. Sababu wa kuna kuwa na mandamana ya kusema reject finance bill. It is not with the reject finance bill. So when the oppressed has reached a melting point where there is no space to breathe, watapita na wewe. And indeed walipita na mwishmua William Ruto. So this has become a lesson to the African countries and even the entire world has been watching. And they've been taking notes very careful. So to Kenyan youth, it is a congratulation that you've done it and you proved indeed there is people power. Power belongs to the people. Those who are not in authority have the delegated power. Anytime we can record them or we can take back our power. So when we realize that the members of parliament do not represent our interest, we decided that it is time to go to the street and represent ourselves. When they voted in favor of William Ruto, who is also pushing for what IMF has given him and World Bank, then we said a big no. This noise can bring a change. And revolution can happen through the social media also. It has been proved and tested. The protest was organized online. And the operation happened on the ground. And the record has been set straight. So that's how I'm going to speak. Hapo ndo watu wakiona huko sasa wa Kenya mkitembea huko nje when you are flying from one country to another which country Kenya oh nyinyi very brave people <laughs> you know you stand your ground and you defend you know you are right so a um, credit to Kenyan people and uh, a mock to a clueless administration i don't know your views but let us put in the comment section to continue this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video.